Welcome back everybody. Today I just have a couple things that I recently ordered off eBay. Um, the video is really about the second item, but this one came at about the same time, so I guess we'll just go ahead and open it. I probably paid a little too much for this one, but something I just stumbled across and had to have. You know how it goes. I, I always like the new old stock items. So, this is a uh, older Craftsman ratcheting wrench. Or, well, not a ratcheting wrench, ratcheting screwdriver, I should say. It's number 4116. Um, I'm not sure what I would put on a date for this. I would say based on the logo, I'm thinking it's probably uh, mid to late 70s, maybe even early 80s. But pretty cool that it's still on the card. And just held on by the staples that were originally in there. So let's get on to the one we're, we're really here for. And I kind of paid up for this one. I don't remember where I saw it originally. Uh, I just stumbled across this tool and I'm like, man, that's cool. I got to have one. <laughs> so I, I looked around on eBay and they were going for quite a bit. And somebody put one up for a buy it now and I decided to make an offer and they accepted so wait now this was for an auction and I threw a price in on it and I won the auction so I have something that I think is pretty unique I mean not to say you can't get one not to say you can't find them but this is a tool that's about a hundred and fifteen years old it was a uh, patent by a company. What? Well, it was at least made by a company. Uh, um, founded in 1880 in Aurora, Illinois, called the it Richard. It was just Richards Manufacturing. Sorry for all the noise. Give me a second. It was patented in 1907. And it's called the wizard. I don't know how well you can see that. So what I thought was so cool about this tool. Well, I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> um, based on the patent, I guess it's a version of a tool that was being invented to um, tighten down something on a railroad track. I don't know if that's what the use of this tool was. Now the Richards Manufacturing Company, they built like door hardware for like barn doors, like sliding barn doors, and uh, they're still in. They're still going today. They they merged in the early 1900s with another company called Wilcox, and they make a number of different items, but they still make like door hardware. So I don't know if this was a tool to tighten something on their door hardware, but what I thought was so cool about it was that it's, it's like a ratchet, you know, ratchet handle, but it has adjustable jaw. Now I don't know how stiff these jaws are. It looks like they do move. So now this, this thumb wheel just uh, has the one jaw going down or in, and then this one controls the other one. So if we do them both at the same time, I guess they'll meet in the middle. But what I really thought was cool about this, along with the adjustable, was that it's actually a ratchet. So that is loose, putting it in a, to loosen a bolt. So now I don't know how it works, to be honest. I I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to change what direction it, it goes in. I, I mean, so that turning this knob. Oh, well. I've never I've never messed with one of these, so that's why it's a. Uh, it's something that I don't really know how to use, but um, 
I, I don't know if it just goes in reverse. Oh, no, now it's now it's going in, in Titan. So now it's tightening. So I'll have to mess with this knob a little bit to see what position makes it do, you know, what, what motion. But, yeah, it definitely goes in, in both directions. So, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. I'll put something on the screen. I'll show you the auction. I'll show you how much I paid. It's It wasn't cheap. Um, but I thought, well what a cool tool i mean what a unique tool and i just thought it was something that uh just had to have it right so thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you on the next one